Hello everybody, this is Jerry from Killer Clowns FPV. Today I'm showing you guys the uh, setup uh, configuration for the, uh, actually using the button to assign individual uh, LEDs, uh, colors or animations um, versus using the uh, S2 knob on the Tyrannus that changes all the colors uh, simultaneously. The button right here actually allows you to do it uh, individually. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how this works. Let me see if I can cut the light off get you guys a better look. Um, those are the LED stri strips lit up. That's with the animation that I chose. You can go about, I believe, flashing or it kind of like cycles through them. And I'll show you guys the different modes. Um, let me go ahead and get the light back on. So the way it is, you this button right here, the way it works is to actually get into the selection, you click it and you hold it for four seconds you'll notice they all blink. So when they're actually in the first menu, that lets you know that you're adjusting settings for all of them. If you wanna do single uh, LEDs, you can actually click it once. You'll notice that the corresponding LED flashes. So if you wanna change those, you do that one. You wanna change that one, you do that one, this one, this one, that one, that one. So you get the point, you can change it. So let's say we wanted to do that one individually. We'd click it and hold it, and then it would go into the color selection menu. So now that's on magenta. You want to change it to yellow, white, orange, blue, red, green, whatever it may be. When you get to the color you want, you'd click it and hold it. And then now it goes to the animation menu. So you can see there you have that back and forth scroll. If you want to go to the next one, you have that uh, sort of a random hop between the uh, every other one and the single ones you hit it again you got the solid color once more you get a flash so whichever one you want to do so say if you I wanted the uh, solid on the front you'd click it and hold it once you have your animation and then you notice that it's saved so now it's color blue it's solid and these are still changing how they want to now again, if you wanted to change this one to match the other one, you would click it and hold it. Once you have your four LEDs blinking, you do single clicks, change it to the one you want, hold it to make your selection. Again, you choose your color. I want blue. So I'd click it and hold it. And I don't want that, I don't want that, I want it solid. So I selected that one, click it and hold it. And now you have your rear, uh, fading front and back now let's see the rear I want on purple so the way we do that again you click it and hold it single click will take you to the strip that you want then let's see I want let's do um, which one's more noticeable let's do green so I want green click it and hold it it goes to the animation I don't want that one let's say I want that one for whatever reason so now I got these two front blue and solid, that back one's that, that uh, animation with the color green. Now I got to make this one to match. So again, you click it and hold it, and then you let it go when it gets that menu. Click once, click once, and you'll notice when you're, whatever color you go to, if you, it selects that one, it'll show you that main one. So go into the menu, we just select the one that we want, which is that one right there. We're also gonna want it green. So we scroll through our, hit red, hit green. You'd hold it again. Now it goes to the animation. You want that same one, click it and hold it. So now you can see our forward ones are gonna be solid blue. Our rear will be that scrolling green. Very easy to use. Um, if you just wanna change all colors at once, you can go ahead and do that via the radio on the switch. And I'll go ahead and cut these off to show you guys the brightness and they're, they're really, really nice. So, you can see very nice so you do have these four leds that are going to be under your uh flight stack um, and then you'll have the arms and i'll actually flip them so you guys can see the glow on my table which is right there these are very bright and they're only five volts um these power consumption is only about 250 milliamps so you're pretty much not going to drain anything out of your battery uh, i think I, that might be one concern that most people have um but as you can see they're very very bright and they're really cool i mean how you can switch them and as i said you can set individual colors so if you wanted to you could go red blue green yellow um the available colors i believe are red blue green yellow magenta uh 
orange, and white. I think there's two more. There's like seven or nine colors, something like that. But um, that's how you actually go about setting up uh, the board. So you can choose whichever colors you do want on whichever arm. Um, very easy. Uh, and as far as the control goes for the Tyrannus, let me go ahead and get that and show you guys that. All right, so right here on uh, my radio, you'll see I have my test bench selected. Right down here, you'll notice my signal solid. My uh, Pico F4 is powered up. The Mnova is powered up. Or the Innova uh, V4 is powered up as well as the PDB. So the way you go about setting it for the radio is you go ahead and page. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, menu and then you page on over to the mixer page uh, which is page 6 you scroll down to channel 8 and hit oh, I already have it so I hit edit but you go you click on source and all you do is literally spin it so it knows and you'll see it's already reacting to it um, so it sets us to hit enter and exit that's all you have to do now you'll notice that changing uh, the value on your oh, sorry about that the value on here will actually change your LED color so you have three four five six seven eight eight different color combos that it can go through and it's all configurable through here I'll go ahead and cut the lights off so you guys can see how that looks um, we're actually changing it real time. So here I have a switch and we'll go our purples. Let's see. Our blue, yellow, green, red. And as I mentioned, you guys can go ahead and do that via the button and get more intricate with it. And it does save it. So when you power up, it'll still stay with the same LED uh, colors. Uh, no matter what, unless you actually change the value with the S2, then they'll all go solid. And uh, they'll, they keep the animation, um, but they do change the colors. So whatever animation you chose stays on them um, unless you actually change the, uh, the setting via the switch. Um, again, colors will change, animations won't. So you got that orange, white, yellow, purple, blue, green, red. So, plenty of colors for those knife lights, those eight pilots hauling ass. Got some nice little eye candy there. That's how you do the setup for the board, your LEDs, with both the uh, Tyrannus using that S2 knob, um, as well as the button so you can configure individually. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.